Hey, it's your girl Washana and Denise, and we're here at the 2012 NAMM show. It's the biggest music convention, the biggest. Yes, it is, girl. We got so much in store for you guys. We got merchandise, we got celebrity, engineers, everything, and everything is through those doors. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Let's go. Let's, let's check go. it out. All right, let's go. We're here with the amazing producer, songwriter, and engineer, Devon Evans. <laughs> What's up, y'all? Devon, why, why did you come to this NAMM show? What brought you out here? I, I kind of come every year to try to make sure I always have the edge on what's coming out. You know, like the equipment we use in the studios, the stuff we use to make songs sound good. I want to know what this year has in store for us in, a, in the music community. So, so that's... So it's definitely gonna, anybody who's into music, you definitely recommend they come out. Yeah, you, know? you should always come out because like everything that's that's gonna happen this year is happening. They'll they'll tell you about it now. You can talk to the people who invented it. You can find out how it works. So whenever it comes out, it's not a mystery. You won't be lost. You know. So some of the products I saw today and, and yesterday were just I mean, amazing. So I look forward to using all of this stuff whenever it's released. So. What projects are you working on? Anything new? Uh, but right now I'm just working on like placement stuff. I'm kind of like taking a break from working with so many other people and just focusing on some of my own stuff. You know, so that's kind of it for me. Like writing a book, it's going to be exciting. Oh, I heard about know? that book. Tell us a little yeah. bit because that's hot. It's kind, of a, <laughs> it's kind of a twist on, you know, relationships with a fusion of music. So it's like a bunch of passages written. Um, the book is called Love Songs and it's about, you know, like having sex with a speaker or something stupid like that, but... That's not stupid. Yeah. I don't know. It sounds, <laughs> it you know... It may work for people. It may work, but, <laughs> you know, but it's like my twisted view on everything. Like, um, there's one, you know, about um, Dear Musician, um, tonight I want you to let me be a cello, open your legs for me. You know, stuff like that. It's kind of dirty, but not dirty at all. You know, it's strictly like musical, like play for me, sing for me, and, you know, just kind of like being real, real forceful with the girl I'm with, but she's just so happens to be a flute today you know so yes yeah. like when's, when's yeah. the book coming out when are you well i'm hoping to have it finished mid-february so i don't know we're hoping by the summer all the artwork and everything will come together and it'll be complete it takes a lot a lot of work to put it put it together you know but so it should be cool but other than that it's just been writing and working with my team the senate you know we're trying to get a bunch of placement stuff um we're not really focused on any big projects because we kind of burn out like from dealing with that rat race for a little while i need to just just do my music right now so that's it you know all right well, we'll look, we look forward to the book coming out and thank you so much for talking to us always today the show. yeah see you later thank you hey what's up everybody this is van merrickton here with the spiller show i'm with one of my favorite comedian and actors of all time mr tk carter how you doing i'm doing fine man how's it going with you man i'm doing really good i just first of all have to say Say by the bell one of my favorite shows season one i absolutely loved you and and say by the bell how was that working uh you know, on such a classic show. Oh man, it, you know it's always great. You know uh, that you can work on shows like that because when I worked on them at that time, you know, I was a little younger, and you know, you guys were young at that time. So I, I but caught, you still a, look I young. caught, still I caught another young. generation. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So it's cool, man. You know, doing that show. Yeah. Yeah. I, I can't say much for some of the some of the little actors on there. They were kind of like bad, but they were cool. Let me guess. Uh, Zach, Lisa, Damn, Screech. Right. Zach, Zach. Lisa was cool, uh -huh. but Zach got dang on problems. Yeah. Okay. Zach is Zach. Screech was, my, Screech was my buddy, though. Oh, Dustin Diamond? Yeah, he was the best. Okay. He was cool. So tell us about the NAM convention. So what is it about the NAM that brings you here? Uh, right now, I got an incredible internet company that I'm doing, man. And, uh, you know, I'm doing some things that I can't really say, but involves, you know, music, technology, and what's going on here. So, you know, everyone's here to, you know, stay like one step ahead of what's going on. That's what you need to do. So can we get the name of the internet? Or is it uh, top secret? Kind of top secret right now. But I know you also do music as well, because I'm a big fan. Right. Okay. Yes, I do. I do some music. Got a comedy album with some music coming. And uh, let's just say right now I'm getting ready to put something together, man. It's going to really uh, be pretty uh, entertaining with some good content for the internet. So I'll let the folks know. Okay, and one more question. Can you just let us know where uh, you can be reached? you have a website, social media? www.tkcarter.com. Check me out. Absolutely. It's such a pleasure. I, like I said, I love you. Thank you so much for letting us have this interview. Yeah, you can get the twi Twitter followers to follow me if they want. Absolutely. What is it? Uh, uh, Mr. Carter, y'all. Got it. Check it out. All right. Bye. Tell, us, tell everybody what you do. My name is Nomad. I sing for the band called Dive Bomber out of San Diego, California. 
and tell us about your your whole outfit, your whole ensemble, this paint and everything. Um, after being on tour with bands for years and years and years, while they'd uh, do drugs, I would go and uh, paint. I don't, I don't do drugs, so I just started. It started evolving and uh, just sort of became my persona. I feel more comfortable like this than in clothes. I don't really fit into uh, society myself much. Now did you paint yourself? I painted myself, my front, and my girl Lisa painted my back. Oh nice. Okay, tell everybody where we can go check you out and learn more about you and your You can check me out by King King in Hollywood, February 7th. You can also check me out at www.divebomber.org. Die bomber, baby. Nomad die bomber. <laughs> All right, you guys go check them out. Oh, yeah! Hey, welcome back. Okay, so we have here Gil. How you doing today? Hey, how's it going? I'm doing all right. Well, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. So what is it that you specialize in? Tell us about it. Well, I'm a music director and a keyboard player. Uh, currently on the road with pretty much all of uh, Young Money. Oh, okay. And uh, Carrie Hilson, uh, Nicki Minaj, and, you know, a couple people. Okay, so are they a crazy bunch? Yeah, they are, but they're, you know, they're, they're crazy, but at the same time, it's, a, it's a, a lot of talented people. So the, the creative energy, when everybody is, is in the same space and in the same flow, is just as crazy. Right. So what kind of things do you do? Uh, while you're, you said you're working with them or on tour? Yeah, I, I cover all of their live touring, all their live shows. We create them from the ground up. Um, you know, I hire musicians and background singers and things like that um, and then we sit down with the client and we say how what what is your vision for your tour right and we start there and then we build into what people come in pay money to see how long does that preparation usually take for actually to get to the final you know product it just depends on um, you know what the client wants and what the uh, the tour calls for but for the most part maybe a couple of months to get everything together yeah, because it's not just a musical aspect, but you have to deal with other things as well, getting everybody's passports right. and, you know, all that kind of stuff, coordinating everybody's schedule, so about a couple months. Did you ever have to, like, uh, substitute one of the keyboardists and start getting in on your on yourself? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've, I've learned that from a, a early age to get, always have people ready, too. Yeah. So, like, we'll rehearse and um, we'll always have recordings of what we do. And I have people who I trust. I would just give them recordings, even if I didn't call on them. I'd just give it to them, just in case somebody slips on a banana peel and you gotta kind of like bring the next guy in there, you know? Right. Yeah. Well, one quick question I want to know is, do they have like any of those artists that you're working with right now? Do they have anything like weird that they do, like maybe take off their shoes before they rehearse, or like they want like a banana, or I don't know, like something crazy that they might do before actually getting out there? Uh, I don't know. Nothing, nothing too crazy. I mean, everybody has their their hobbies and everything right, right. Wayne is just he's a skateboarder now so and oh, you, he's a yeah now. and you okay. can't get that skateboard away from him wherever he is there's a skateboard even on stage on stage they've built ramps Are on stage wow. now yeah the past few shows um, and he travels with like two professional skaters that are teaching him so you know okay. th those kind of quirky things right. yeah, yeah you just go with the flow right <laughs> let's go with the flow and let's make some music right. that's what I'm here for do you have any any type of music online or anything people can check out if they want to yeah sure I have a website gilsmithmusic.com and um, Facebook Twitter links and all of that stuff are there yeah and I'm a big uh, endorser of Tsunami Cables. My buddy Keith, he brought me out here today. Shout out to Tsunami Cable. <laughs> All your uh, professional musicians and producers, high quality cables, they're the business. And you know firsthand, cables come in handy for everything. You can never have too many. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Well, Gil, thank you so much for stopping by and chatting with us and spilling it. We are here with Cassandra, and she plays keys for Prince. And he's also you've also played for Mary J. Blige, yes. Macy Gray. Macy Gray and, um, oh my goodness, Pink, 98 Degrees, um, uh, Leah and Ron. Wow, uh, nice. yeah. nice. How was that experience? <laughs> oh, it's wonderful, wonderful. Music is, is a, a universal language, and it's what I do. I'm just a woman that loves music and loves God and loves to play. What brought you out here to the NAMM convention today? 
damn in itself <laughs> um you know it's a, it's a great place to figure out you know um what's you know what to buy for the year and what new keyboards are coming out what new mics anything related to music electronic music music production anything that holds a, a an instrument you know you're gonna find it here and it's a wonderful place to network everybody's here you can hardly get anything done when you're walking around because it's like hey how you doing but you know it's all good it's so all you definitely good. recommend people to come out anybody who's in the music oh, yes. industry oh yes and it's singers you know they have mics here uh, mic stands you know um, software programs anything related to music you will find it right here all right well you heard it from Cassandra <laughs> that's what's up <laughs> So what kind of music do you prefer, you know, working on? Is it like hip-hop, pop? I've done everything from hip-hop to pop to orchestra. I also mix uh, Burt Bacharach, if you know who Burt Bacharach is. Yes. Major, you know, string section arranger. Okay. Wrote hits with Dionne Warwick and you name it. Is uh, J-Lo coming up with a hot track? Oh, J-Lo is super high. Is she coming back though? Oh, she's on the way back. Yeah, well that's she's what we wanted to way back. That's good. Yeah, we've done about three or four shows. Uh, we were voted best show at uh, in Vegas for the iHeart uh, Radio Festival, and then uh, we just did the AMAs and turned it out. Yeah. So, what kind of things do you come and look at here at the NOM uh, Convention Center? What what really what are you looking for? Um, just the latest technology. See who's got something new. You know, in a, in a world like this, it's, it's hard to come up with something that's new that really works. You know, so there's some manufa console manufacturers out here that got some new things. There's some uh, microphone companies that have come up with a bunch of new, you know, digital technologies for microphones, especially wireless mics. No, I've seen some of those are pretty hot. Um, well, that's exciting. Well, we're so happy that, you know, to have met you. Thank you so much. And we can't wait to see what J-Lo comes out with. Oh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm sure she's going to be touring by this summer. Okay. Well, we can't wait to see that. So you guys stay tuned. We have more coming up. Hey guys, all right, we got John here from Marvin's room. He is the head honcho, I'll tell you. So what is it that you do in his room? What do I do at Marvin's room? That's a good question. I don't know about how that sounds. <laughs> I'm the custodian, custodian, oh, okay, custodial okay. service. Is he dirty? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> now please let us know, I mean, you're, you, you firsthand of Marvin, everything, Marvin Gaye, right? Marvin Gaye, that's right. That's Every, right. You get firsthand of everything. So tell us, what is it that you do, you know, well, Marvin's, Marvin's, Marvin's room is a recording facility that was built by the legendary, late, great Marvin Gaye. Right. And it was recently restored as of 1999, yeah, 1999, by John McClain, the okay. legendary right. John McClain. Right. So if you guys know who John McClain is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. okay, good. It's okay, so there we go. <laughs> there you go. I just want to make sure, because he's legendary. So John McClain restored the facility and, and, uh, so since we've been open, we've had like uh, Luther, uh, Mariah Carey, right. uh, Lenny Kravitz, of course Michael Jackson, some of the last recordings wow. of Michael Jackson. Wow. Actually, McLean manages, John McLean is the executor of Michael Jackson's estate. So, so a lot did, of legends. We did Michael in there. Um, lately, we've had uh, Drake in there, thus okay. the song right. Marvin's Room right. was recorded right. at That's Marvin's Room. That's my favorite Room. song. Mary J. Blige. Right. Which which uh, artist would you say was the most rewarding besides Michael Jackson? But I'm just saying that to work with and having him their presence there. Other than the fact that I'm a Luther Vandross fanatic, yeah, okay. <laughs> so hanging with Luther was probably the greatest. Yeah. What I got to say, probably in Marvin's, my my greatest experiences in Marvin's room was Michael Jackson. Oh. God. <laughs>